Uh, here's the ACT four. We'll start. Excuse me. We'll start in here today. Uh, Monday, I'm not going to be here. You'll have a sub. I'll try to leave a letter that'll tell you what lab we'll go straight to. Uh, the first question uh, deals with some definitions. This one has this one has two peaks. If a uh, if a set of data has two peaks, it's said to be bimodal. That's what bimodal means. Okay, so number one is A, bimodal. Uh, two, two is very similar to that problem the other day. This is Q1. Uh, I, I, again, I would write this. Q1 is the first quartile. Q2 is the second quartile. Q3 is the third quartile. Based on the numbers right there, the lowest it could be uh, is is 75 points because in class two the median score was 75 points so that's as low as it can go because q2 is the median you won't hear that referred to as q2 you'll hear it referred to as median just like you want here uh q1 referred to as the median of the first set of data because they don't want you to mix those mix and match those words so we'll say q1 Median Q3. Well, if the lowest median, if the lowest median can get is 75, that must mean it's C, 75 to 87. Makes a lot of sense. The third one, guys, it's this third, oh, I'm sorry, before we do the third one, here's today's USA test prep question of the day. Based on these answers and this picture, I know it's not number one or, or letter A or letter B. Because they say less than and greater than. If they said less than and greater than, then this line would be valid. It's not. It's solid. So that means it's either greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. So is this picture straight above or below? Uh, so the correct answer is. All right. This was the one I told you when I originally passed out that uh, the page on formulas that I, I told you I was worried that you wouldn't remember what the formula meant. So I'm going to go through this step by step. This is number three, and it asks for the mean absolute deviation. Okay, the mean absolute deviation is exactly what it says. Guys, you find the mean, then you find the absolute value of the deviation. You've got to understand what that word means before you know how to use the formula. If you look at the formula, it says X with a line over it. What in the world does X with a line over it mean? <laughs> so, what you do is find the mean. To find the mean, you simply add the Add the numbers together, 9 plus 12 plus 975 plus 825 plus 1125. It gives me 50.25 divided by? So that gives me a mean of 1005. Now think about, listen to what this says. Mean absolute deviation. Now there is a mean deviation where you just take 9 minus 1005, but that's not what we're doing. What we're doing is the absolute value of that. So now I just did five addition problems and then a division problem to find the mean. The way you find the mean absolute deviation is now I do five subtraction problems. It's five subtraction problems, guys. Just take it out. Say 1005 minus 9. That's 105. 12 minus 1005. That's 2. Guys, if you subtract those the other way and don't take the absolute value of it, you'll get positive or negative. I don't want that. Always take the bigger of these numbers. So I got 1005 minus 975. That's 30 cents. 
So I got 1005 minus 825. Okay, so I got to figure out what 1005 minus 825 is. So uh, what is that? How can it be 1.8? Because okay, it would be 1.8. Zero kind of for a loop. And then I got 10, excuse me, this time I'm going to say 1125 minus 1005. I do it in order so that I end up with a positive every time. Because that's what the point of this is. The mean absolute deviation, these numbers are all positive numbers. So I subtract here and I get 120. The same, guys, the same exact way you got 1005. I do this right here. I take these numbers right here and I find the X, the mean of them 1.05 plus 2 plus 0.3 plus 1.8 plus 1.2. I add those numbers together and divide by. I got 1.26. Get a little positive in it. You may have a little something wrong there or something. Because I got 1.26. Yeah, okay. All right. Again, listen to what the word is called. X with the line over it. That means mean. If you see X with the line over it anywhere, guys, mean. Then absolute means absolute value. I subtract each one of these, each data point. Look, there's one, two, three, four, five data points. I subtract them. All of these are positive. If you get a negative, guys, you did it the wrong way. I just turn it back around. Or you can just take the absolute value of it. That's what mean, absolute, the A stands for absolute deviation. So then these, you just find the mean again. Mean absolute deviation. All right. Uh, about the only other thing. Let me stop this.